This one is not teaching. I was to speak to Okma children, the parents, and after I spoke and I prepared, I decided that if I talk to Okma parents, most of us are parents, our children are in school. This one is purely instruction to parents. Instruction to what? Because of how the society is, I'm talking to parents globally. I was to talk to the parents of our school. He said, train up a child the way it should go. And when it's old, it will not depart from it. Parents, you play a key role in bringing up children. If we get the family right, everything will be right. And we'll have a godly society. Parents, it's our responsibility primarily to train our children at home before they go to school and other places. There's a disturbing trend in the society today when it comes to all bringing up children. Parents are becoming absent in the lives of our children in the, in the name of pursuing money and leaving it in the hands of church and teachers. Please make sure it's recorded as part of the message. I will emphasize in some areas and then I'll be done. In nine areas I want to emphasize. One, Parents, encourage discipline from home. Encourage what? Make sure you encourage discipline from your home. Two, parents do not oppose disciplinary measures put in place by school authority in order to cover their children. No, don't oppose. If a school says, this children must not come to school we so so thing. Don't oppose it. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Three, parents should be interested in the school work of your children. When they come back home, open their books and find out if they have a lesson and they have something to do. Four, parents of adolescents should use wisdom. Use what? To teach sex education and not allow the children to learn from their parents. Churches will not say it. Teach your children. Mothers especially. Especially what? Sit your daughter. And tell your daughter, when you get to a certain age, you will see blood. This is the meaning. When your breast start coming out, this is what it does. Do you know when a girl gets to 13, 14, most of these days children, they look very big. 13 years, you think they are old. At that point, you tell them, if any man tells you, come and sit on my legs, don't sit, except your father. A girl who is getting big is not permitted to sit on the leg of another man. Ask me why. Don't you know? <laughs> my daughter never sit on the laps of any man. And we have, even if your father's friend, he tells you, I say, no, my mother said, I should not sit on your laps. The world is so corrupt. There are some men who don't have respect. In small children, it's a spiritual demonic spirit. It's a satanic spirit. Hope you know. So maybe for their own children. That, is, that, one, I think, that, one, is another, that one is another spirit that I don't understand. The person has a psychotic problem. Teach them. Do what? Teach them. Teach them. That if somebody tries to touch in a sense people like this, no. God hates you at the temple of the living God. Nobody wants to touch you. You teach them. Don't say, eh, hey, hey. No, teach them. The things you made mistake, they must not make. Teach them. Teach them. If any female comes to rub your back, don't agree. He said, God does not allow female to rub female. It's against scripture. That's what it's all so much about. Man does not rub man's back. Woman does not rub man's woman back. It's demonic, satanic, ungodly. It's, it's not the, that was what it's all so. Woman, they follow woman. Now, God created Adam and Eve, not Steve and Adam. Not, not Steve. And uh, Adam, it's not Adam and Steve. It was Adam and Eve. Not Adam and Steve. God did not create Adam and Steve. He created Adam and Eve. Not Eve and Evelyn. <laughs> Look, 
All of you telling me woman to woman is not scriptural. Don't ever do it. In case the demon of woman to woman is warning you, be free today. It is, listen, it is not biblical. God created many women. In case young man, they never marry. Find one woman, marry. Your fellow man. <sighs> yeah. Are you okay? Even your body, if a man touch your body and you're a man, the, man, the hand will be like some paper too. <laughs> How do you feel man touch your body? <laughs> the hand of a woman and a man, are they the same? Okay, let your wife touch you. It will be cold. Your fellow man touch you. <laughs> and most of these things, they learn them from boarding schools. Most of you learn those things from boarding schools. So, tell your daughter, now that you're growing, if anybody tries to go this way, stop! Tell the child, no! I'm a child of God. And then number five, parents of, parents of day students particularly, should take interest in where their children go after school hours and through weekends. If your child is going out, find out where the child is going to. And where is that child going for a weekend? Find out. Are you getting what I'm saying? Don't send children on holidays to every house. Number six, parents should pay attention to the friends, including classmates, that visit their children at home. Every child that comes at home, pay attention. What is the association between your child and that person? Is that clear? Seven. Parents should regulate TV and internet use. Regulate what? Very important. Unlimited and unrestricted access to mobile phones and internet should be discouraged. See what? I'm going to tell you something that may sound a bit hard. Don't give any child that has not gone to invite the phone. I may look shrewd and look a cake, but it's correct. Don't give any child until the child gets to university. I won't tell you what I don't. I refuse to give David a phone until he got into university. I told him, I said, you will never have a phone until you enter university. Without humility, at least I'm richer than most people. When he got to high school, he said, Daddy, I now know why you told me not to use a phone. That doesn't mean he doesn't use phone. He uses his mother's phone. And they were kept a landline. What you do, get a landline in your house. Are you going to have to sit down? Tell them, use this phone, call your friends. But don't say you're rich. You know, these days we think it's money. I, I bought my boy an Apple, Apple what? Apple 13 Pro, Pro Max. For my son. How old is he? 13 years. 13 years, you're buying my Pro Max. I'm going to tell you something that I don't want to teach before, but I'll teach it. Don't give money to your children. I didn't want to teach it. Never allow your children to handle cash. Buy any expensive thing for them, but don't allow them to handle cash. Buy them. This watch of one million doesn't matter. The child will not know. He will just wear it. <laughs> I'll be going. But when the child starts handling cash, you're exposing him to temptation. Never allow a child to handle cash. Especially those of you whose children are overseas. Anything they want, buy for them. You buy for them to use, but don't allow them. Nobody can influence them when there's no cash. Well, it's cash, the children will come to them. So, boy, let's go out. When he has no cash, where will you go to? You know, there are things the church should practice. That's what we teach wisdom. Don't say you have money. You now put on a card. $5,000 for a small boy. He will just go to a shop. Friends will tell him, boy, you feel I gave you $5,000 for just one man? Ooh. <laughs> no. Children today are joining WhatsApp and Facebook groups where they share nude pictures and learn vices. So, don't give them such opportunity. Are you hearing me now? Number eight, once a negative character threat is discovered in a child, parents don't cover up 
or make excuses. Cooperate with pastors and teachers to correct it immediately. Tell them, my son is beginning to misbehave. Help me, help me. Don't, don't cover. These days, if you want your child to say, your child is doing bad thing, they will not cover. They say, no, my beginning. You think you're helping the child? Tell them, pastor, this boy has changed. These days, when he's watching television and I'm coming, they will turn it off. That means he's watching bad thing. Help me. Don't just say, this boy, he doesn't even watch TV. You are not helping the boy. Tell the pastor, this boy, this boy, do you know when I enter his room now, he will make the remote like the prim. Anytime your children are off remote, it shows what they are watching is ungodly. You know where you, you were bad. You know where you made mistakes. Your children must not make those mistakes. Are you hearing me now? Final number nine. Parents should desist from abusing domestic staff as children also learn by observation. If, you, if they see you abuse and maltreat domestic staff, like housemate, driver, gatekeeper, they will acquire the habit of bullying. Don't stay before your children and look at their child and say, you buffoon. Idiot. If I didn't employ you, no, don't do that when your children are. Then when you do that, they see you, they will do the same. Let me close. Never warn your wife in front of your children. If you want to warn your wife, call her inside. Talk to her. And don't insult your husband in front of your children. Two of you should settle it. Inside. Never display your stupidity before them. Check any man who beats his wife. He learned it from his father. You can't be a wife beater if your father was not a wife beater. Any man you see lift his hand against his wife, da, his father was slapping his mother. Two of them were fighting in the open. And only Tatas fight. Only what? If you see a man beating his wife, he said, Tata. How? Just have children in the house or grandchildren. You can't stop them from fighting. You don't need prayer. They will fight. Why is it? Stop! He will look at you like this. Once you move your eyes, he will pinch. If it's his sister, he will pinch her. And match the leg. He say, it's okay. I've told you, stop. You will stay again. He will go like you. He say, I'll, I'll flog you. He will look at your face. Look at your face. Fighting is part of their life. It's fun. So when you see adults begin to go fight with their tatas, they are what? That man is a tata. How can a full fledged man take his hand? Are you okay? Look at you. Look at you. When you go home, look at yourself in the middle. You lift your hand like this. You are not ashamed to slap your wife. Oh, wait. You slap your own wife, and then you'll be talking. I want to show I'm a man. You are not a man. You are a nama, a nama woman. <laughs> you are a man. You are a disgrace to Christianity. Even the unbelievers who don't beat their wives, who don't go to church, by, by moral principles, there are unbelievers who don't beat, not talk about a Christian, spirit feel, tongue speaking. And you, the wife too, you come and hold your husband on the neck. I go, I go kill you today. You go kill me. <laughs> there are women too who beat husbands husband so. <laughs> there are women who beat friends. No. Don't beat your husband. A husband too, don't beat your don't beat your wife. All those fightings can stop. It's simple wisdom. It's simple what? Wisdom. You don't need prayer. You don't need anointing. Just wisdom. Can I fight myself? Can I beat myself? So if I point at my wife, I'm pointing at myself. If I slap my wife, who am I slapping? I say, simple. I don't know. Even as an unbeliever, I didn't beat a woman. Not talk about the believer. To not scare her hand. Ah! Even as a sinner, I didn't beat any woman in my life. It's not decent. It's not just, you are not civilized. You are a bushman. Look at your hand like this and tell, I slap you. I slap you. If, I, if, if not for church, I slap you. <laughs> God forbid. How will you look like God forbid? Do you know there are pastors who even fight? They say, Mommy, Mommy, leave her now. Mommy, leave her. Ah! <laughs> they say, Mommy, leave her. He goes, I will kill her mother today. 
This is my mother. I wanted the yasate. I go, I go kill her. They said, Daddy, no kill her. Like, no kill her. No kill her. No kill her. I beg leave her. Yeah, those are small children play. Eh? If your wife is the one that talk, leave her and I go away. But I enter your room, lock the door. She will come to talk for front. <laughs> say, my wife can't talk. Leave her to talk. And end, close the door. Go stand in your room. Say, my wife, continue. When you're tired, you will come back. <laughs> no, there are women who talk in this part of their life. There are women, they can, they can knock from morning to night. They'll just be knocking. Your father. Your father. Wicked man. She will enter the kitchen. Your father. Devil. <laughs> And I say, Mama, hey, Mama, hey, Mama, no grip. Your father. She's telling you people, she will not talk about her husband, your father. Devil people. Devil. Devil. Not devil. Hey, hey, Mama. And I say, she said, make her no money. Devil. <laughs> she, she, she's cooking food, though. She's cooking food. Your father. <laughs> okay, I said, my food now. Nah. She's married me only that food, food, you want. If not for you, the children, I would have gone since. <laughs> Praise the Lord. 